Are the name of Figi Lembalula coming up today by both uh, Trevor Manuel and General Spiwe Nyanda. Both said Mbalula was concerned that he was informed that he would be a minister of sports and recreation by one of the Gupta brothers. But his disclosure at the ANC ADC did not draw any response. Let's listen to that. I'm saying that, that my reading of it was that there must have been a pre-existing relationship. That's the gist of this. And a pre-existing relationship, I mean, relationships can be based on all kinds of things. Um, uh, perhaps uh, they're just general friendships. Uh, Mr. Nyanda over there and I are friends and we meet occasionally and we, we have a chat and we've been friends. and That would be... He doesn't need anything from me and I don't need anything from him. It's just a friendship. Um, but the sense that I have of the way in which the Guptas have interacted <coughs> was never about the need for friendships. It was the need for favors. But what was re remarkable to me was that uh, Mbalula made this stunning revelation, this yes. what was actually a criticism uh, of the way in which he had been informed about his impending appointment. He was, in other words, uh, disturbed by it. SABC senior reporter Mzwandi Lembesha joins us now in the studio to go through some of the testimonies today. Let's start with this, Mzwandi what we both heard from uh, Trevor Manuel and uh, Spiwe Nyanda. Did they clarify, or was there clarity what they meant by he was both shocked and surprised to find out from the Guptas that he'd be appointed sports minister? Uh, so you know that uh, the appointment of ministers is the sole prerogative of the head of state, uh, the president. So what basically Mbalula was apparently saying at the NEC was that, uh, I mean, he got this call from one of the Gupta brothers to say, um, you will be appointed uh, the minister of sports. And then that actually, that uh, uh, turned ten out to be true. And then why he was worried was that, how come uh, an individual other than the president uh, could be the one that really informs me that I would be appointed the minister. So they're saying in that NEC, when he raised that, he was very emotional. I mean, to the point uh, that uh, others say he was actually crying because he was so upset. I mean, he was excited, apparently, when mm -hmm. he got the news that he was going to be promoted. But then he realized that, I mean, how do I get this news? I mean, uh, he was then upset by those e events. That's why he raised it at the NEC. Mm -hmm. Shock and happiness, as you say, Mzai. Let's talk about Trevor Manuel. At some point, he spoke about the issue of skills and qualification. Let's expand a little bit more on that. Well, he was basically saying, uh, remember there were several reports uh, by various uh, agencies um, around this investigation around what the state capture is. I think, I think um, it's the in unbundling is what they basically said, they spoke about the repurposing uh, of certain issues. So what Minister Manuel was saying is that, so when he had seen what had happened, he realized that uh, there were certain things that were done incorrectly. He made an example of uh, Makengas Stofile, who was a sportsman through and through, saying how he, could he be replaced by uh, someone like uh, Barula, for example, who obviously is very energetic, but he had no known experience in that, um, in that field. So basically the point he was making was that uh, given the, 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 the mass uh, shake-up of cabinet in 2010, so he could then connect the dots to say maybe there is something that this is being repurposed for. Mm. And he seemed to reflect on uh, current affairs, the, the discourse on the deployees, even referring to Minister Manuel, and he 
as uh, the former finance minister under President Mandela. But what was his point about um, how this commission should be instructive of how we should manage our affairs going forward? You know, what happened with uh, Minister Manuel? I mean, his, his evidence, like his main evidence, was actually very short. But I think the commission took the opportunity to use someone who they, use, who they knew had institutional memory. This is someone who served under President Mandela, President Peggy, President Mutlante, and President Zuma. Okay. So he had deep understanding of the workings of government. That's why he was even saying, I mean, for the country to move forward, you need to tap into the skills that are existing. Not that you just uh, throw away someone who you know has served, has been there, can also help. I think he was speaking in that All right. context. So let's look at uh, General Spiwe Nyanda. He spoke about uh, a memorandum from uh, the MK and he also spoke about the unhappiness within the party about the ANC's own state capture inquiry. Why was that? Remember, there were a number of concerns um, about what was happening, um, I think, in, in, uh, immediately after the elections of 2016. General Nyanda is saying when the ANC dropped significantly, they were so concerned. And then this talk, and this talk about uh, uh, Gupta's really uh, influencing people and influencing events got them so worried. As a result, as former senior commanders of MK, they decided to go to the ANC to personally raise these issues, to say, you know what, these issues are of concern. And one of the uh, recommendations they made at the piece was that uh, in front of uh, former president Jacob Zuma, they said, given what everything is happening, so we think you should step aside because uh, just about everything that is being said is around you. So that was what he was basically saying about the unhappiness of them as former uh, commanders of so, MK. So, Angela, all of this obviously being a, 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 a microscope into the workings of the ANC, and at some point the need to relook at the NEC itself and how it works. Is this the first time that this is in the public domain in the manner that it is? Remember, this is... Uh, uh, known uh, because I think uh, it was widely reported in the media that uh, Minister Mbalola at the time uh, complained how he had been informed. But it's the first time that we get uh, those people who were part and parcel of, the, of that meeting, who were there, who witnessed everything that happened, come out under oath to say, yes, we were there. He was concerned. He was emotional. He was crying. So we hope uh, perhaps there will be others who would come with uh, different versions because it does appear like uh, the NEC did have some very robust discussions about the influence of the Guptas. So I thank you very much, SABC senior journalist Mzwandile Mbech. Of course, uh, Figile Mbalula himself tweeting saying that nothing that was said was untrue and he himself is willing to go to the state capture inquiry and testify.